and welcome to webdesignerresource.com video series that's webdesigner-resource.com today's video covers how to install WooCommerce WooCommerce is a e-commerce plugin by WooThemes it's free and it's actually very versatile it has a lot of extensions and can definitely give you an easy to use store uh, with minimal cost and effort so let's assume that you have a WordPress site already installed and we're just going to come over here and go to themes show you that we're using 2011 and then take a look at the site so that's what the site looks like right now I'm going to go back to dashboard first step is to install WooCommerce so we're going to come to plugins add new and we're going to do a search for Woo Commerce. W O O C O M M E R C E. We're going to search plugins. And it should be the very first one. You can just make sure by coming over to the description and looking to see that it's by Woo Themes. We're going to do install now. It takes a few seconds to run. We're going to activate the plugin. Now you notice that once you activate it, you get this little message that says you're almost ready to start selling. Install WooCommerce pages. WooCommerce uses a number of different pages, uh, cart, shop, things like that. And it can create them automatically. All you have to do is click here. Of course, you also have the option of creating them manually and using short codes. But we'll cover that some other time. There we go. It's all installed. We're ready to take a look at it. And there you go. And you notice that we now have a cart, checkout, my account, shop, track order pages. Now, this is kind of a special case. This template, which is 2011, if we actually come here to the shop page, you'll notice that it actually does retain its formatting. But that's actually not typical. Most themes actually tend to have a problem with just about any e-commerce plugin. We're just going to come back to themes and I've installed the free version of page lines. We're going to activate that. And we got the page lines control panel here. We're not really going to change anything. We're just going to go back and visit the site again. And so far so good. Looks good. We got the little slider here. We're going to go to cart. And as you can see, we've got a little cart here, still in the same format. Here's where we usually have the problems. When you click on shop, that's going to start displaying items, and boom, there you go. Now suddenly we're no longer within the normal format. Our bar is way over here, and our margins are gone. And honestly, this is actually a better looking um, issue. Uh, than some. In a lot of cases you'll get your product area here and then the sidebar will actually be below it. So how can we get around this? Well, there's a number of different things you can do but the easiest thing is to use a theme that's built for WooCommerce. So we're going to come down to themes. We're going to go to install themes. Now the you you can go to a number of different places to get themes for WooCommerce. You just do a search for WooCommerce themes. But of course, why not go right to the source, which is WooThemes. If you come here under themes, you will notice that they have a free section. If you click on the free section, you'll notice right away that the first two here are Artificer, which is fairly new, and Wootique. We're just going to choose Wootique. Of course, we're going to go into a little spiel about it. And we're just going to click download now. I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to switch back to our site. We're going to go to Upload. Browse. There it is. And we're going to install it. Now because it's built for WooCommerce, it's going to be able to handle all those pages without any formatting problems. I'm going to go ahead and activate it. And there's our little WooThemes. We're going to switch back 
to the site and there we go we have our base site here but now if we go to shop there we go it retains its format and if we had products it would list out all the products it actually has a couple nice features uh, it actually has a featured product slider so that when you add products there's a little checkbox that says feature this item if you feature that item it'll appear right here in this uh, this slider um, WooCommerce also has a number of widgets. Let me go back here to widgets. We have a WooCommerce shopping cart, which you can throw in one of the widget areas. You can go to add a section with random products, sort of like one of those, you know, you might also like. Uh, product search, uh, featured products, which you put them into a, a widget area, uh, best sellers. There's quite a few different ones that you can use, uh, WooCommerce login, on sale. But as you can see, it's a nice little template. And the best of all, not only is WooCommerce free, but this template is free. So if you're looking to start a store on a shoestring budget, this is an excellent way to get started uh, if you have WordPress as a base. So we'll cover more about Word, um, WooCommerce some other time. For now, we'll see you next time. This is webdesigner-resource.com.